Hey guys, um, this is my first YouTube video. Uh, I'm mainly doing this video for um, Dell, Dirty Room Knives. I, um, my dad did some business with him, he brought him a spine cutter and um, he asked me to do a video because he doesn't really want to, I don't know, probably break the camera or something, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, we're both into knives and he, um, he buys one, I buy one, build up a collection like that. Um, I've only just turned 18, so it's kind of, he's making me pay a lot, because <laughs> he's been buying them for years. But anyway, um, so yeah, Dell. We got we got this um, about a month ago, I think? Uh, no, wait. Yeah, a month ago. And um, here it is. Whoa. Sorry, I'm filming on my camera, on my phone, uh, S Galaxy S3, and hopefully it'll be alright. Um, best real lighting in the house uh, could go outside but it was a nice day yesterday it's a shit day today oh god I love the British weather and and yes I cut myself cut myself right on the tip of the my thumb and you know good old electrical tape looks nasty but whatever anyway so here is the spine cutter this is number two spine cutter Offici uh, there we go. Officially, number two spine cutter. Was born on the third of uh, the f the fourth of March. Twelve. Um. Oh. I've never noticed that. <laughs> Apparently, it was born a year ago. <laughs> oh well. Uh, doesn't matter. It's still an authentic card. Um, yeah, it came with with that and official DRK Dark Place Resonance. Came with these little things. It's pretty cool, and it's a knife itself. Um, it is a fantastic fixed blade. Um, sorry, I'm holding it here, so maybe a little bit shaky in places. Here is the blade. Oh yeah, you got your your orange. Orange? What am I talking about? I am colour blind. <laughs> um, OD and black layered G10. It's a bit dark there. Um, oh yeah, gotta love my OD spine cutter. Awesome tanto. Then you got the uh, what do we call it? Schism grind. So you got a kind of chiselled like on this side. And then you got the schism. Oh, now I mean, I know there's been a lot of thing talk lately about the best types of grind and, you know, um, what cuts best and chisel grind isn't good and all that crap. Um, this isn't a true chisel grind, obviously, but um, obviously it's physically it cannot cut sh or shouldn't be able to cut as good as like a full flat. But I think they'll put some kind of voodoo magic on the edge because... This is insane. I've, we've used it. I mean, you can see all the use on the blade. It's pretty dirty, pretty mucky, and um, it's got some scratches there from the Kydex sheath. Um, sheath isn't brilliant, but it does the job. Fits in my jean pocket perfectly. Um, and shut the door. Um, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Haven't even had to strop it. I, um, I was trying to. I can't seem. To, we can't seem to clean it. Clean off all the dirt and crap. And I was just put some lube on there and I was rubbing it off. <laughs> yeah. Um, just touched the edge and did that to my finger. I mean, I barely touched it. That's how sharp it is. It's bloody awesome. It's a Dell top work. Um, it is truly. Truly amazing if we're great in the hand. It's a bit odd at the moment because I've got the, my fingers taped up, but um, you know, whoops. It is truly, truly awesome. Just fits in the hand so bloody well. In reverse grip, obviously, here in the UK, it's a bit different, but reverse grip, self defense, and that style of stuff is a bit of a no no even though I dare anyone to say they wouldn't if the situation arose, but, you know. 
cut it case. Looks great. Retention isn't the best, but I we normally I normally just because I'm the only one who uses this. You know, it. I don't want to shake it out because I'm going to hit my phone, but it will. There we go. It will shake out if you're holding it like that and I don't know if I'm holding it like that like sh kind of squeezes it apart a bit if you hold it like that the fingers there and shake it it doesn't come out because you're putting pressure on the side of the blade obviously but I'm not going to be vertically you know attaching it to my um, plate carrier or anything so no need to worry about that so Dow awesome Awesome work, damn it. Press that button again. Um, awesome work, I mean, seriously. It's bloody amazing. I really, um, I saw the video on your broke back random, and man, I want to get one of them. If you ever start, if you, I know you want to get loads of blades up on Gear Bastion and stuff, and <laughs> so, um, most of the time when I see your stuff on Gear Bastion, it's gone. I did my old wake up in the morning, look at my emails. It'd put it on the night before, just after I'd gone to bed or something, and it'd be gone. And the other day I saw the pink, uh, the pink lined shiv you had up there, and I thought, ooh, could I get that? I didn't have the money, but um, I clicked on it five minutes later and it sold. <laughs> so yeah, and um, so that's um, whenever. But truly amazing knife. I've got to get. I'm not a fan of the uh, toe cutter. Um, Warncliffe. Mm. Saying that though, my new knife that I got today, I did a trade for. I traded my titanium UKPK for it. And my dad did on the forums. And um, <coughs> this is like a perfect pairing. We've got we've got a DRK. We've got a Doberman. Oh boy, yes. I traded this, or my dad traded this for our titanium UKPK. This is um, one of his tactical friction folders, UK legal to carry. Um, don't like that term very much because anything's legal as long as you've got a good reason, but carry this without a reason. Legal, <laughs> I suppose. Fucking awesome. I love it. I saw I had the saw the jade one you put up, but I'm not a fan of the jade. So lovely tie. Lovely tie. Gotta love it. I'll do a more in-depth video on both. Probably on this probably. But I think they're a pretty good pair. Uh UK YouTube knife making pair. <laughs> if you like. Anyway, yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, with more regards to like me making more videos, I may do on other customs and stuff I get. Maybe um, these are the first two customs we've ever got. That's my. That was the first one. Mm -hmm. This one. Um, this one obviously was a trade. It wasn't commissioned, as you were. I think this was the first of the water jets Dell got. Because <coughs> I know the one Kara Elite got. Um, was the one he hand ground out, I think. Anyway, and then Jester got the prototype, but number two, um, yep, made. I think he obviously came back to the future. He made it a couple of years ago. He made it a year ago. But yeah, Day Room knives, Doberman knives, handy. Doberman knives, seventy four, I think it is, and Dale Day Room knives. Check them out. Peace.